Hi folks, I'm Matt and welcome to My Expanding Universe, a show where I go through the entire EU in chronological order as best I know how. Wow, it has been an exciting couple of weeks, hasn't it? Talking about the X-Wing Rogue Squadron books. Well, now you need to settle down a little bit because we're going to talk about a few short stories here, some Star Wars adventure journals here that I'm sure you're going to love. Uh, the first one uh, is called A Conflict of Interest. Now, this title seems very familiar to me because I think there are several, or there's another story called Conflict of Interest too. I believe. Maybe it's Conflict of Loyalties now that I think about it. Either way, though, uh, this is in the Star Wars Adventure Journal number 13, written by Laurie Burns. And in it, uh, in Rebel Agent uh, Shelby uh, Jared goes undercover to the planet B B B Verkel. I don't know how to pronounce any of these planets, but Verkel, let's say. And they're try trying to convince the Imperial governor on that planet that they should just go ahead and surrender. Just go ahead and surrender. Man, the New Republic is really po powerful right now. We may just go ahead and surrender. It would be better for everyone. It's an interesting take on how rebel agents work now because now we're working in the, instead of the rebellion era, which is where a, a lot of their stories, Westing game stories, happened in, they decided to grow with the ongoing story that was going on in the novels at the point and say, okay, in the world of the New Republic, what would our rebel agents be doing now? Well, now that they're winning, they'd probably be doing something like this. So I get it. In fact, I actually enjoyed the story. It was pretty good. But the best one I'm saving for right now, it was a five-part story. It took place in Star Wars Adventure Journals 1 through 5, written by Peter Swayfer. Now, basically, it is about a, a couple of rebel operatives, mainly Dirk Harkness and Jay Ravensthorn, and they are sharing stories in a bar on the planet Runa uh, and while they're getting ready for a mission to uh, take over a Star Destroyer that is docked at the planet at the time for repairs or something. And they're, they're going to scheme to take the Star Destroyer for the New Republic. But in the meantime, you may as well drink and share stories. And so that's what these stories are. And there's five of them here. Uh, the first one is called uh, Chess's Doom, Big Quince, Explosive Developments, Starter's Tale, and then finally Vengeance Strike. Now, all of these stories are interesting because they're not only written stories, but sometimes in, in the middle of the story, there's comic books. Yes, it turns into a comic book. This is crazy, right? And it's usually during the action scenes. Like there's some big action scene, then it goes to comic book and it shows you the action. And then it goes back to uh, written form. I don't think I've ever seen this happen before. And I love that format because you get the best of both worlds. You read a little bit and then here's some comic book and then you read a little bit more. I like, and it was, a, it was a short story that way. So they were quick one-off stories, just tales of rebel objectives. But then at the end, they all go on their mission. Now, this is my favorite story. The, the Vengeance Strike, which is called the uh, Star Destroyer, is called the Vengeance. If everything goes according to plan, they will take this Star Destroyer. Unfortunately, Dirk hits the elevator, the turbo lift. It opens up, and he sees... And then it switches to a comic book where it's a ton of stormtroopers. And he kicks one, you know, he kicks the, and an Imperial officer. Imperial officer looks at him. Dirk kicks him back into the elevator, fires in there. They're firing at him. All chaos breaks loose. He's fighting everyone. It was great. I laughed. I laughed. It was funny when it switched to comic book. I was like, oh, no. And then it goes back into uh, you know, the, the reading. And it's great book form. It is fantastic. I loved it. And like people got hooked on the Alex Winger series because she had a lot of stories coming out back to back ones. I was hooked on the, I kind of call this the Dirk series, but Peter Swayfer, I was always excited to read his story about, you know, what's the next story about these rebel op operatives on the, in this bar? And are they ever going to take her on that Star Destroyer? Oh, they do. And it just becomes a fantastic story. And I was hoping that the next one, Six, would have another story of them. And it didn't. I was like, oh, man, I want more. So, and I don't know how people felt about P Peter Swayfer's, you know, list of short stories that were both comic book and written form. But I love them. A lot of people love the Axe Winger series. That's who they attach themselves to. I attach myself to Dirk. I thought it was great. I thought it was a great character and a fantastic story. The last short story I want to talk about is from Star Wars Adventure Journal number six, and it's written by Laurie Burns. It's called Kelly Rand Reporting. You see, Kelly Rand is a GNN journalist, get it? GNN, not CNN, who is uncovering a plot by the Empire to frame the New Republic, make them look bad. It was, it's a whole uh, smear campaign, and the New Republic's in some tight negotiations right now, and this 
could come out against them and just ruin the entire negotiations. So Kelly Rand is trying to get the footage. She has footage, evidence that the Empire is responsible for this, and she's trying to get that to the New Republic. I like it. Like I said, a different perspective once again. Uh, the, uh, the We're looking at it through the lens of a journalist now, how they see the galaxy, how they need the, the story, the truth must be shared. It's too bad GNN is all propaganda now, I hear, in the galaxy. It's all fake news. Wouldn't it be awesome if that's what the new canon was? Just someone from GNN just making up stuff? Anyway, the story's fine. It's all right. It's a nice short story and kind of fits in that wheel for the rest of the Star Wars Adventure Journals. All right, folks, that's all the time I have for now. See you next time with another video.